When you go to a your first duty station, look for one of the best leaders and one of the best soldiers and figure out what it is that makes them the best and how they got to be the best. Um, there's people who stand out in units that are really good soldiers, and there's some that are known for not being very good soldiers and seek out good leaders and other highly motivated and good soldiers and find out and pattern yourself after them to do better than they are. Um, and you'll go a long way. If you just do a mediocre job and just do the bare minimum, that's not what stands out. The, the, the highly motivated and supercharged men and women, those are the ones that stand out and those are the ones that you want to pattern yourself after. I wish we had uh, some kind of program in the U.S. where you had a two-year obligation and military is one of the options. But a, a two-year obligation to do something for somebody somewhere outside of yourself that gets you out and about hopefully even out of your own front door and start growing up in life. I wish we had that. Why doesn't everybody join? I mean, you've got income and not only do you have income, you've got a guaranteed bill in case you spend all that money stupidly like we did in the Navy in the early days. Even if you're broke, you got a place to sleep and something to eat. And you're developing some skills. Maybe there are skills you won't use, but you've got them. And actually, you learn to use your brain a little bit. So, And you learn to put up with stuff that you thought you couldn't put up with. So I, I fully recommend to any and all to give it a try. Education never stops. You know, con continue engaging with with other military members and veterans and, and understanding the environment you're in. It, it's really easy and necessary in a lot of ways to get very kind of blinded and, and caught up in the day-to-day, -day, especially when you're in a war zone. So I would encourage folks to to prepare themselves as much as possible for a time when they they don't have the ability to to think more more broadly and more in depth. And, you know, learn who they are separate from the military. You know, the, the military operates by breaking folks down and building them up. And that's the whole premise of, of boot camp. So I would just encourage everyone to, to not lose sense of themselves with that. And I think that really comes into play post an experience to post a deployment, or if you decide to get out of the military, or if you make it through to retirement, congratulations. And then there's a huge transition after that. So not losing sight of, of who you are separate from the military is going to be critical when you hit those transition points. Listen to the people above you because they really do know what they're doing if they've been in for a while, you know, and boot camp, like we all know, boot camp wasn't um, to, to learn how to march or fold clothes or spit shine shoes or anything. It was to teach them how to take orders. And, and being a drill instructor, I know that. You're just teaching them to take orders. But after that, listen to the people that have been in because they do know what they're talking about. 